family and friends visit the home that was until just a few months ago a haven of bliss for the couple. The scene that meets the eye in the aftermath of a gruesome murder is the opposite of happiness. This is in Lusaka's Minu Dindeke area. ZNBC has gotten exclusive footage of the murder scene. We have been given access to this place. I'm standing in the master bedroom uh, where the victim is alleged to have been stabbed repeatedly uh, by her spouse. Uh, if you look down the corridor, there's splatters of blood everywhere. It was a bloodbath in here. It kind of tells uh, the struggle that was there uh, before the woman finally gave in. Valerie Franco's sister explains that the couple separated a week earlier after a marital dispute. Tuesday, he started calling her, calling her, said, Valerie, don't go. We tried by all means yesterday. But I just said, let me go and reconcile with him. I said, you can go one on one. Let me be there. She said, no, I'll go alone. I said, OK. A neighbor says he heard a lot of commotion coming from the house on Wednesday afternoon. I was in the house and I was in the house and I was in the house because I was in the house and I was in the house and I was in the house. So I was in the house and 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 I was in the house. Police have opened investigations into the matter. It is alleged Mr. Elishevo strangled Ms. Franco using an electric power adapter cable and subsequently stabbed her in the stomach with a knife. Tragically, Mr. Elishevo also took a poisonous substance resulting in his demise. Upon arrival of police scenes of crime officers at the scene of crime, Ms. Franco's lifeless body was discovered lying in the bedroom adjacent to the bed with a knife embedded in her abdomen. The couple, who have been married for close to a year, share a seven-month-old baby. Pendopsikazwe, ZNBC News, Lusaka.